the range again, and it's another beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. And we have a very interesting level three body armor plate. And, well, but before we do that, I wanted to show you this. We have some more of my posters, and if you want to get one, go in the description down below and to see instructions. Also, Olight is helping us out a little bit with this video. And first, we have the Boulder RL Mini. And this is a little gun mount, well, gun light as well. And it has a red, wait, how should I say this? A red laser, pretty much. And if I can, if you could, there's the laser and the flashlight. Yeah, I can't see it too bright out here. Yeah, but I can see that red dot. And look. <laughs> the little magnetic charger acts like a little mag holder too. <laughs> You're not supposed to do that probably, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and take a couple shots with it. I want to see what it looks like with you shooting. Birds are flying away as I shoot. I bet. <laughs> Show me that light again. Look how tiny that is. It and this is. is my Ruger SR-22, my pretty much my so, my smallest handgun. I want to shoot another mag. Okay. That's really fun. Oh, had a malfunction. Nope. What happened there? I think um, the hammer just dropped. Oh, okay. Accidentally, and it didn't go off. Oh, so I had just... to do double action. Okay. And this is the O bulb. I have one of these beside my bed, and it is orange. But this one, it's my favorite because it's pink. Yeah. And what's really cool about this is it has this little magnetic mount. And same thing with the Boulder RL Mini, it has a magnetic charger. And if you want to stick this to your wall beside your bed, you can just peel off this little sticker and stick it on. And this is the i5T with a very cool paint job on it. I really like this. Oh, but it's so cool. And Ooh. I actually carry this one, this brass one. Yeah. I've been carrying that for about a month now. This one's a lot heavier. Definitely. That brass one's got some weight. Yeah. This is like aluminum, I guess. I yeah. Think. Cool. Well, check the description for a uh, discount code for Olight, anyway. Yep. And this video would totally not be possible without Premier Body Armor. They sent the, us this amazing um, level 3 polyethylene plate. And it is so light and plastic. I don't even know how it stops 308. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem possible that this plate could stop 308. Look how light this is. Yeah. I mean, you saw her throwing it. But, yeah, it's it's some kind of magic. And show, show them your plate carrier, honey. And this, they went completely out of their way. I am very thankful that they did this because it... It's the same thing as that, just mini plates for in my plate carrier. They made me two yeah. really, really nice plates for just in this plate carrier. Yes, that it was just, so cool of them to do that. Premier Body Armor, if you haven't heard of them, they're, they're body armor for normal people. They don't have all the tactical macho hype whenever you go to their website. Yeah, it's just... Completely normal people, backpack inserts, purse inserts, laptop bags, they even have wallets, can koozies. They're totally having fun with this. It's uh, it's not your typical macho type of body armor company. So you could totally check them out. There's a link, there's a coupon code in the description actually. Yeah. And speaking of backpack inserts, I actually have a pink version. Yeah, it's you do. a level 3A flimsy one yeah. which is really cool and let me set this down really quick this plate carrier is so light it only weighs four pounds with everything in it the plates the fabric and the mags and this which is for my little revolver yeah 
and it it's so light because it only weighs four pounds which is super cool this one is polyethylene and it's a level three which is very light for a level three it can stop up to 308 which is crazy yeah we're gonna test that today right oh yeah all right let's get to shooting it you want to set it down range where are we going to start with we are going to start with a 22 and i will show you that 22 in just a second all right this is my ruger sr22 and we had it custom seracoded by red beards and we did a previous video well, well review on this pistol before in i think it was last week's last week's video we have the armor plate set up down range and we're gonna blast that thing wait oh and i and we're loaded up with a gila super extra cool all right well no one I don't even see it. I don't... Oh, I hit. The... That's where I was aiming. Look at that. It didn't. It didn't even do anything. Okay. Anything. Yeah. Is there any damage at all there? Nope. And not even a bulge. Not even a bulge on the back. All right. No surprise there. So we're taking a big step from 22 up to 10 millimeter. Got 180 grain blazers out of our. 10 millimeter Ruger 1911. There we go. That kicked. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yep, pull right there. So there's a cut. But okay, comparing to the 22. Ooh, woo! Come here. Come. Feel that. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's still warm. <laughs> and I just, it was just laying there yeah. for maybe a minute. Let's see the front, let's see the entry. Hardly oh. anything. A little I think, bit, uh, it's like a that's ripple. That's the bullet. Right? That's the bullet. You see the bullet? Right there. Oh wow, it's just right there on the surface. If we could get cut into that. Yeah, we'll check it out, Dad. After all we right. shoot all the rounds. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now we have a 9mm Underwood Extreme Penetrator out of my awesome SIG MPXK. And this is a very nice gun. Heck yeah. And we painted it to three different purple colors, which is really cute. I love it. Just gotta, there we go. What do you think? I don't see anything. That looks like it. That looks like a hit right there, yeah. It's not a hole. Oh, right here. Oh, okay. A little bit of a bulge, not as much as the 10 millimeter, but yeah, definitely still stopped it. And that was an extreme penetrator in the um, soft armor test, the level 3A, we went through two Almost four. Yeah, almost four plates. Completely I mean, through three and partially through a fourth panel of yeah. level 3A with the Underwood Extreme Penetrator. And it almost went through the last sheet, literally. Yeah. It stopped on the last sheet. Wow. Oh, I don't see the, oh, right there. I lost the 10 millimeter bullet. Okay, so now we have these, these 410 crazy slugs. Look at that. Can you just get a close up on that? That's Hopefully crazy. It's focusing. Uh, it's a Hornady, a Hornady Critical Defense 410 slug, and it has two buckshot balls in it, too. Yep. Don't forget my safety. Yeah. And we're getting pretty close because these are pretty inaccurate. <laughs> yeah, we were shooting these yesterday. They kind of just go wherever. They just go. Yeah. Or sometimes they go in the same spot as you aim. Okay. Hope I hit. Yep. You got it. That hit. Somebody shot a 12 gauge. Yeah. And the bullet's in there. Okay, where is the entry? Anyways. Oh, it's right, right there. there. No. Oh, very slight bulge. Very, very slight. Okay. More yeah. than a nine, though. 
the less than the 10. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so now we have a 556, five, and this is my really cool Sabine Bear Creek. I call it my Sabine because we painted it like Sabine on Star Wars or Rebels. And just take a look at that paint job. That is so cool. Yeah. We actually just used a couple paint brushes, some wet paint, and. Yep. Turned out awesome. Yeah. And this is a very cool gun because it's a Bear Creek, if I didn't say that. Nope, you didn't. That's, a, that's their Gen 1 side charger. I am actually getting a Gen 2 in very, very pretty purple. Nice. We'll have to do a video on that one. Oh, yeah. All right. Send a, uh, I think you got two in that mag. Yep. So this is the first, like, real rifle caliber we're shooting it with. Yep. I'll shoot two. <laughs> I nice. have to shoot two. Oh, oh, and if I didn't show you this, I wanted to show you this quick. Wait, it's upside down. There we go. It says Autumn's Armory, Autumn Fry. It's not my birthday, but it still says Happy Birthday from Mike the Weld Shop. Cool. Yeah, someone made that for you. Yep. Back at your birthday. Yeah, at my birthday. All right, Ooh. two five five six rounds sticker peeled off but do we have anything through it um no it looks like you hit right where the extreme penetrator hit yeah right here was the extreme yeah and then both five five sixes yeah so there's not stopped. really a, it popped it out a little bit more but not really a bulge and those were uh imi m193 loads they were not just little 223s they were some hot ones yeah but what is that I think that was a 556. Oh, oh, wait, that, that might be one of the uh, balls out of that buckshot. Oh, was. yeah! Yeah, that's what yeah. that is. And then I think one of them hit here, and then these two are the 556. Okay. Because cool. I think one of them just skinned there. Well, the important thing is, is nothing is going through it. Yeah, that's the important thing. I can't believe how light this is. I know! With even those bullets in there, <laughs> it's still just as light. Well, next we have what this thing is maximum rated for. We have a 308. Well, actually, we're going to shoot a 12 gauge slug first. 12 gauge slug first? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So now we have this very pretty Beretta shotgun. And we have a 12 gauge, one ounce slug. And then. Mm -hmm. Let me get behind you. Is it red? Yep. That means it's ready to go. Okay. I'm kind of scared that I'm not going to hit it. I hit right beside it. You nipped the edge. <laughs> Let's show them that. <laughs> yeah, this was not here before. Yep, that's the new hole. So, here, watch out, honey, you're in the camera. Whoop. So we hit right here on the edge and through right here. Okay, so I gotta aim a little bit right. I mean, a little bit left. Yeah, but you can see what it's made of in there. Yeah. Just plastic, layers of plastic. Yep, let's shoot it one more time. Okay. Okay, That's good. There. Yeah. Got another slug. Alright. Oh, I didn't get behind you, but Oops. oh well. <laughs> Sorry. Looks like you hit it. <laughs> yep, I hit it. Oh, wow. Oh, it did not go through. That... I'm just trying to push that down. Let's just. Ooh. <laughs> Dang. Come over here. Come over here. Just look at the front first. Oh, man, go it up, but it definitely stopped. Okay. 308. 308 out of this PTR 100. Autumn can't quite lift this gun up good enough to hold it. So I'm going to go ahead and take a shot for her. And uh, I'm going to shoot up near the top because that's not where the slug hit. Yeah. I'm going right. to just get behind you quick. Ready? Right. Looks like it hit. I'd say. Oh yeah. <gasps> yep, that hit. Okay, by the way, that was an M80 ball 308, so. Just so you know what load that was. Yeah. How's this target look? Uh, let's see the front. I don't 
don't see the entrance. Well, do you see an exit? That's the important. Nope. Did not come through. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Why did I do that? That Why? thing is destroyed. But yep. nothing has come through it. Do we have anything bigger? I don't have anything bigger, but what if we hit it with some more 5.56 five, out of your AR? You wanna do that? All right. 10 rounds. Let's try, 10 rounds? All right. Okay, we're gonna shoot it with 10 rounds of 5.56. Five, if you see holes, it's probably just me shooting the back. Oh, did you shoot the did you shoot the back after it fell? Yeah. Okay. All right. Like three well, times. Let me stand it back up. We should be able to tell which is the entry. Yeah, if it's going in. All right, I stood it back up. I think it's just gonna fall over. Another yeah. One. All right. You just want to check it out now. I just want to shoot the dirt. Shoot the dirt. Okay. You just like shooting that gun, huh? Yeah. All right. What's this look like? I see one entry right here. I think that's an exit. You think? Oh, it did kind of tear out. Yeah, that might. That was right where the 308 hit, though, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, wait, so no, that's where the. Wait, this is where that, the 308 hit. That has to be an entry because there's no bullet hole on this side. Oh, yeah. So okay. that's an entry. I just want to cut this open to see if we can find that 308. You want to? You said you want to shoot it with one more 10 millimeter, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. One more 10 and then we're cutting this open. Okay. Still nothing has gone through it. Yeah. Oof. That's hard. It didn't hurt as bad as the other. Good. Where's your knife? My big one's at home. I forgot to grab it. Just tear this off. So. Let's see here if anything went through. Doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. That has to be an entry because there's no... Bullet hole right where yeah. it hit. Let's just cut it. Okay, this is hard. Even just the outer layer is super hard to cut. Yeah, it's almost like it's made to stop bullets or something. It's so hard. It is made to stop bullets. <laughs> okay. Oh. There's, There's a something. piece of. Wait, I think that was. I think hey, that can was you just, Can you just pull that apart and show them what it looks like inside? Yeah. Ooh, it's sticky. It is sticky in there, yeah. And hairy. Yeah, it's uh. It's layers of plastic. That's exactly what it is. But yeah. it's kind of sticky. sticky feeling. On the top. What do you got there? The slug. Ooh. Is it? Oh yeah, look at that. Got it. Looks like there's another piece of it. Deeper in there. Got it. Um, almost got This is it. like operation. Kind of. Oh, the game operation. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to get the bullets out. Oh, there we go. This play was super impressive. We, it stopped everything we threw at it, and <laughs> it's just a very, very cool and very light play. And here is what we were able to find. Yeah, I'm sure there's more in there, but it's just so hard to pull it apart. Yeah, here. And get anything out, but we definitely got the slug, one of the 410 buckshots. And maybe a 10. Yeah, 10 millimeter pieces right there. There's the slug. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. But that, that plate, it worked, right? Yeah. Check the description down below if you want to see a coupon for a premiere. This was a really, really cool plate. It stopped everything. And it kind of looks like an Oreo right now. <laughs> I just love this plate so much. Thank you Premier Body Armor for sending me those custom mini plates and this big thick guy. So thanks for watching Arms Armor. We'll see you.